know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. So, I watched Misfits, My Dumb Advice with QP, Quantum Physics, talking about the whole ghostwriting thing, right? And talking about the people that he specifically ghost edited or looked over their rhymes or helped them with schemes or however they tried to paint it or he tried to paint it. Misfit let him know early she was not with it. You know, if she's battling a person, she don't want to seem like she's battling you plus the other person. Like it, it totally takes away from the sport of battle rap because when I watch a battle rapper, male or female, I'm thinking everything that I'm getting or I'm hearing is coming from that person. I'm not thinking that another person is sending them whole sets of bars, whole schemes and punches, and it's just, yeah, it's despicable, man. Like, what he was saying, so he was like that, he would kinda like edit up like Yoshi would write her rhymes and he would like edit them up and make sure that he was like, I would make sure my people wasn't going into battles with bad rhymes. See, first of all, it's been long speculated that quantum physics was writing for people. Like, I mean, it's, it's a known thing, especially when you like doing the, the blogging thing or you like have a, a no, you kind of like know that anybody that, and Excel said this in a tweet earlier, anybody that you see hanging around um, quantum, any female that's is associated with him, he's writing for. Him. Like it's just, it just is what it is. He's writing for them, and he did say that, you know, he knows that he don't got that star power. He knows that, you know, he's not. He don't got the 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 the, the machismo. He don't got what it takes to be a big stage battle rapper or to be a star. He don't got the presence. He don't got the charisma and all of that. So what he does is he lends. He calls it get it in. Ghost editing. I never even heard of nothing like this. But basically what he's doing is he's basically going through people's rhymes and throwing them punches and stuff like that. He, he pulled he pulled Casey J into it, saying that he gave her a bunch of punches for a battle. Uh, he was talking about Vixen the Assassin, saying that you know he was going over her stuff. Well, he don't know, and it's supposed to be ghost. Ghost means nobody's supposed to know. He's doing it, and now he's throwing all of these people under the bus to where when they have their battles, now they've got angles and now they got all this stuff that they gotta deal with. See, the thing about Quantum is he can stick his head in, cause a whole dumpster fire, then go back to pimping and going back to whatever he's doing, and he don't have to stick around and deal with what comes out of it. But Yoshi, who a lot of people felt like was either gonna win her battle this weekend or you know do good in it, there's people who's turning the wheel like, yo, now drugs got mad angles. Like he could potentially win the battle with her because you know th this whole ghostwriting thing. And you know I seen and, and here's the thing that Misfit pointed out that made a lot of sense. You sending people whole pages of bars with words uh, capitalized at the end. You never controlled the substance. Like you giving them flow. You giving them cadence. That's not sparring. See, sparring is this. See, I know, and I know there's a lot of fans out there who don't really, you know, aren't deeply involved, but they watch it from a surface level and they're just fans of battle rap. Sparring is said MC calls you on the phone, you got a battle coming up, they got a battle coming up, versus other people maybe, or they're preparing for somebody else, they spit they round to you, you spit they round to them, y'all listen to each other's material. Uh I like how you started cooking in the beginning, towards the end, it dipped off a little bit, but you ended off strong. But if I were you, I would probably look at that 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 second from that eighth from that bar to the end. There's nothing wrong with that. People do that all the time. I hear a lot of people's bar. All oh, it happens. There's nothing wrong with that. But never have I ever heard of an MC sending someone their whole round or rounds and saying, yo, look, look through this for me. And then they starting it over and saying, no, nah, I don't like it like that. You know how you said another cut and another cut? After that, you should say, it looked like my seatbelt won't, but like, that's not, that's not battle rap. That's, uh, that's Cats on Broadway. That's theater performance. That you might as well be a stage play. You, that is, that is not. And how do you, 
And the funny thing about the battle is, is how can you be mad when someone's judging your battle or they say you lost or people are saying you got smoked in the battle and you ain't even right it? Like, how does it, how can another person have the thoughts that you're saying, that the things that you're supposed to be going through in your life, when you're giving out real life bars and reality bars, another person could write your, could write your life for you? For all of that, anybody could be a battle rapper. I can call Lux and tell him, hey Lux, write me three rounds and I'm going to battle. But it doesn't work like that. It's supposed to be the, the battle of the mind. You're thinking like, I think he said, he helped her with the Tory Doe battle, which is crazy because she won 3-0, but now it makes you look at that battle with a fine tooth comb because mad people are saying it sound like Quantum anyway. And then he said he helped Vixen with the Coffee Brown battle, and she did good in that battle too. And it's like, damn dog, if he's helping people with their battles, like, it's easy to say that I didn't actually write for them, but I looked over it, I changed this, I went over that. Like, why do you even want that kind of credit for other people's stuff like if and like I said battle rapper gonna do what they want they're gonna do whatever they feel it is or it takes to win said battle but when it comes out like this like he's on a two and a half hour interview with um, Misfit and he did things with Angry Fan too where he got interviews out there talking about who he wrote for who he helped out he said he gave Casey J a bunch of good punches in one of her battles like that don't bode well that does not sit well with artists who are about to battle you. Like, you're not even writing your own rhymes. Like, that's the, the core ingredient of battle rap. The bars, if we don't even have integrity with the bars, there's really nothing else that we could go upon. And I think it's going to boil down to Queen of the Ring, URL, the leagues that's involved, like, I don't know if they have to go as far as if somebody's caught with a proven ghostwriter, sit them down for a while, or whatever the case may be, but there has to be, you gotta know that you're battling against just that one person. Nobody wants to go into a battle knowing that they're battling QP and freaking Danny Mai. And all, nobody wants to do that, you know what I'm saying? Because how can you be these grown pens from, from really supreme lyricists? Think about quantum physics. Quantum physics is not a bad lyricist. He's, he can actually rap. He got bars. But if I'm battling somebody, I don't want to battle quantum physics pen. Like, what the hell am I battling him for? If I'm battling him, I might as well be standing in front of him. Not battling him, ghostwritten. And like I said, the screenshots that came out were pages and pages of rhymes. This is just not like, no, I gave him one bar. You know what I'm saying? And they used that. No. This is a calculated effort to um, make it past the integrity of the system of battle rap. I mean, you got a tournament for a whole hundred thousand dollars. Like, who wants to know that they lost a battle because somebody else is writing it for them? Like, what the fuck? And um, like, I don't know if men, I haven't heard of, of scenarios where males, especially on URL level, I've heard of it in other instances, are getting bars written for them. But that would probably be some of the crazy shit, like to, to hear and see guys, I would hope that that's not happening. But um, with this whole quantum physics shit, I don't know if it's just a clout grab, just to come out, grab some clout, and go back to whatever he's doing, but it, it, it just does not bode well in the grand scheme of things, because I guarantee you, most of the female, like Casey J's got it out twerk, uh, Freaking Yoshi's got a battle against drugs, and it's gonna be an uphill battle. It went from being a battle that was like, yo, she could do a thing to now, it's gonna be an uphill battle because people are gonna literally be listening. Now, now people are not listening to your material for if you did it, they're listening to it to, to try to figure out who wrote it. Like, did, did this person write it, or did that person write it? And I just feel like, you know, and I feel like. That, that this shouldn't be happening. Quantum physics should not be able to come out with a laundry list of MCs that he's alleging that he goes wrote for. A lot of them. Like, the interview, I listened to it, it's almost two hours and something long. I got to like the two hour minute mark of it, then I had to go run. I did my little four miles this morning, you know, getting my health thing right. And I, I was just astonished, like, wow. And he's saying it so freely and so comfortably. Like he was saying, you know, he used to write for Bonnie. Uh, we all, I think it's really new that Bonnie was getting ghostwritten for. Like, cause the reason why is 
she don't really deliver her shit clean. So sometimes when she be delivering, she's delivering it like she's reading off a page. So when you deliver it like that, and how do you even feel comfortable? I think the most comfortable you could be delivering some shit is if you actually wrote it because you going through those moments, like Lotus like Lotus Luck says, you taking your mind to them prisms and you traveling to them different zones and coming back with that energy. And when you bring that back, you could channel a different effect to take you places, you know, when he be talking about shit that nobody knows what he's talking about. That's what I'm saying. But, uh, I, I mean, if, if you can't write your own raps, it's, it's one of them things where I don't know if you're going to last in this shit. Like, and she, um, I seen, I seen Yoshi put out like a bunch of different tweets and shit that people have been trying to inbox her saying, do you need a ghost rider and stuff like that. But I will say this. I hope she does well. I hope she bodes well. But this whole quantum physics shit is out of control. He is basically going to whatever levels that he needs to go to to let people know who he wrote for. And the, what he's describing is not part of the game. Part of the game is you could call another MC, call somebody that you that you want to hear your bars and you spit them and that's it. But them going in and editing and changing and, and giving you a punch every now and then, that is not battle rap. Like, that's not, that ain't it. That is not it. And I don't think a lot of y'all will agree with that. Um, salute to everybody um, out there who watches this content, whether religiously I'm passing, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely... Um, being more active, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'll be back with my guy Showtime SP real soon. You know, keep your energy strong. You know, what you put into the world, the world gives to you. None of us are perfect, but we're going to keep this thing moving. Game. Okay.